This is New Game Plus, a retro gaming podcast where three guys spend seven days playing one old game, and then we talk about it. My name's Dustin. My name's Kenny. I'm Nolan. And this is episode number 25. Wow. Yeah, that's what, like a quarter of a century? Yeah, it's like a silver anniversary or something. Something like that. Pass around the the sparkling cider and uh, the Pumpkin finger pie. foods. Yeah, we're glad you are all here for our special celebration. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the video game Super Godzilla, but if you are new to the podcast or your name's Kenny, I need to inform you that we don't typically start right away discussing the game of the week. Why not? We, we sometimes like to have some kind of just, you know, normal person conversation before we enter into the hubbub. I don't never heard of that. Sounds boring. What are you going to hubbub us with this week? Well, my question is, guys, do you believe in aliens? <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> like extraterrestrials. Do you think that there's life out there? I believe there's extra testicles. <laughs> you can, I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> Um, mom, if you're listening, turn this off right now. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've never actually considered it. Is that a real question? Re- Wait, you've never, you've really never considered it. I've considered it, but I haven't settled on something. I don't know. Okay, you're still I feel processing. Like if I if I say that I do, then I'm just bogus, and everyone's gonna make fun of me. Okay, I don't know about that. I think. Uh, well, okay, before you answer the first question, answer the second question. What do you guys think? Do you think there are more people that believe in extraterrestrial life, or do you believe there are more people in this world that do not believe? Probably more that do. Nolan, what do you think? I think there's more people that don't, for and sure. And I think that there's probably more people that do as well. I don't know. Can we I look think this there's. Up? Are you Wikipedia informed? No, 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 I think that there are, I think that it is innate within the human conscience to want there to be something greater and something more, which leads people to believe that there are other life out there. Mm. Yeah, I th- I think so. Kenny, do you, do you believe in aliens? Uh, no. Why not? Oh, because... Um, I don't know, like, because there's not. All right, so I do believe there are some, <laughs> uh, and they're going to come and take Kenny away from his home at night. All right. <laughs> I don't know where I went. Uh, well, I, I've actually thought that there's not, and I've got my reasons. One of them being um, that I I just think that that the spaces were created for us to marvel at and not to necessarily find life at. But um, I don't know. I might, I might be pro- proven wrong one, one day. So a, a quick Google search says it's about half that think. Well, all I know is that if there are aliens and if we are ever attacked, I, we better breed a dinosaur defender to protect It's a good thing we us. don't live in Japan is what it is. Well, I'm just saying Scotland, you know, they're protected by the Loch Ness Monster. America's protected by E.T. And Japan has always been protected <laughs> by Godzilla. E.T., that's all you're going to give us? You're not going to give us, like, no, I uh, think, I think Chupacabra? Spielberg meant for the sequel to be E.T. and his friends come back and kill everyone. <laughs> I heard that. Well, it's interesting that one of us just said Godzilla because that's our game of the week. Huh. So, let's talk about the game Super Godzilla. Overview. Super Godzilla came out on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, first in Japan, believe it or not, in 1993, and then a year later in North America. Believe it or not, you say that like that's not how every game of that era came out. First in Japan, then in the U.S. Yeah, every quality game, at least. Um... So, in large part, this is a puzzle game, in my mind, and you guys might disagree. I mean, a puzzle that then has some action sequences. You had kind of said that last week, and I was expecting way more of, like, a puzzle game than this is. You were thinking of that nerdy type game that we played recently? 
Yeah, where you play a nerd boy trying to win the cheerleader. What was that called? I forgot for real. Kenny, help us. Lester? Uh, Lexter? Oh, Chip's L- Challenge. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad I helped you. It Lester's took me a challenge. second. Yeah, <laughs> Le- Lester's. <laughs> so that was the question. So were you expecting something like oh, that? Oh, yeah, I was expecting more traditional puzzle. Like, I guess there's some puzzle elements to this, but I would never classify this as a puzzle game. Okay. Well, um, you you take control of Godzilla. You are Godzilla, and and you're not the enemy that you might have expected walking into this game. Um, you are actually uh, the the monster dinosaur being controlled by scientists to defeat other monsters and save the country. And as I mentioned, uh, kind of at, at the at the start of this, there are aliens and motherships to fight along the way. So just in case you thought, you know, it wasn't weird enough with dinosaurs fighting dinosaurs or monsters fighting monsters, there are aliens and abductions. And, um, and yes, this game is as ridiculous as it sounds. Yeah, so, I mean, you do the puzzle stages, and we can, we'll explain that further in gameplay, and then at the end of each of those sequences, there are bosses that you fight. And so, I mean, the goal of this game is, comp- like, absolutely simple. You defeat the bad monsters, and you save the world. That's it. That's it. Save the world. Gameplay. Gameplay's crap. <laughs> that you can't <laughs> give opinions like that yet. Um... <laughs> let me let me explain. It sucks. That's not <laughs> explaining. <laughs> let me explain why I think this game's crap. Okay. It's a bad game. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> One of you guys explain how this game is like a puzzle. Okay, listen. You your screen is divided into two regions basically. You've got like this little text box at the bottom. Um but when you enter the level it turns into this grid where you you the dot on it is Godzilla, which actually is the guy that's in Godzilla's brain controlling him. And then you just move him left and right, up and down on this grid, and get shot by tanks. It's and a little bit of a maze, kind of. It's it's kind oh, of kind a of maze. Kind of like a puzzle. <laughs> It's kind of like like Lester's puzzle, puzzle, and you run in, and you can break down buildings, and you have energy, like which is kind of like a life bar, I suppose, that runs out as you, you know, get shot or break buildings, or whatever, and you eventually, you know, you tile around until you get to another dot on the grid, which is the boss of the stage, and then, okay, so so. While moving on the grid and all of that, y- the upper part of the screen is <laughs> like just Godzilla walking. It's little clips of him walking. I guess they were trying to ach- achieve like a movie uh, view of what's going on or something. And all it is is just him walking around. And um, and then when you get into the boss battles, uh, I'll let Kenny explain the boss battles because I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and before he does, like, if you're if you got bored during that explanation, <laughs> then just imagine how we felt playing this game. <laughs> please, please understand. Okay, so the the boss battles are kind of like fighting in Monster Rancher, but absolutely, but worse. <laughs> like, yeah, a lot worse. You you you're scrolling left and right to like determine how close you are or far away you are from your enemy. And you're also, your enemy and you both have, like, this energy that is replenishing based on, like, I don't know, your character or whether you're far away from them or whether you're close to them. And then if you're close enough to them, you can, like, punch them. And then at certain times, it unlocks your, like, special moves for you to attack. And nobody actually knows what's going on, so you're just hitting a bunch of buttons and trying your best. Well, you you do figure out what's going you on. You do. So this is what you do. You you have to you have to do a Godzilla punch before you're able to actually select a, a move that you want to do, and, and so you got to get close enough to your enemy and you hit them, and then depending on how much of your uh, of your bar has filled up, your energy, whatever 
whatever that denotes you um, can use different abilities and depending on your distance from the monster so you can uh, do a, a like body slam you can do a, a tell whip or you can do the you know his beam. infamous yeah beam out of his mouth that uh, atomic laser that he shoots out of his mouth to to demolish the enemy and so those are your three different main ones and then you've also got a question mark uh, sometimes that shows up that can do a we'll pick one of those at random or we'll allow you to do um, one of the one of the a, a new ability that um, does even increase damage. There's uh, there's just an upgraded version of that kind of atomic beam that he is able to do that does a, a little bit more cinematic. So that's what you do, and you you both have HP for the most part, and that's just depleted with each hit that you take. And the boss battles are extremely hard. Yeah, they're they're not fun, and like so we've dogged those aspects of the gameplay enough, but. The animations are great, right? I actually, I actually don't mind the looks of it. It's a little repetitive, no, and no, they're no. simple. Like, don't no. get me wrong, they're not great, but for what they were trying to do with the game, uh, I feel like the visuals were fine. Yeah, incorrect. No, no ninety-three Japan. What what are other cutscenes that are like that are comparable to that in ninety-three? Like, I mean. That's not bad. No, that's bad. And then the headbutt move is hilarious. Like I yeah, liked that funny. one because it's so funny. I'm not, just... I'm not arguing that there's lots of like stuff about this game to rag on, but I didn't feel like the graphics, except for maybe the fact that it was fairly repetitive, was one of them. I thought they actually were trying to do something cool, and it kind of gave it an almost sort of cinematic Godzilla-ish feel. I don't know. I was more so talking about the battle, the boss battle animations being hilariously bad. Uh, Not so much him walking around and stuff, but still, I don't care about that either. To me, it felt a little bit like, um, like summoning Knights of the Round in Final Fantasy VII. Like you want it to be cool, but you know the graphics aren't quite as cool as you think they should be, and it's kind of neat at first because it's immersive, but then by the time like you do it the forty seventh time. It's just the long and the same. Yeah. Well, and you said 47th. It's really not that long of a game. There's only, I don't know, maybe six to eight stages. And you do a similar thing the first three or four, and y'all probably gave up after that. But at about five or six, like within the last couple of stages, it changes. Um, r rather than uh, moving through a stage and then fighting a boss, uh, one of the one of the monsters actually lays an egg, and you've you've got to get to it before it can hatch, and, and then you destroy the egg. So there are other things there, and there is somewhat of a story. Like you, you I, I'm confident you guys didn't get this far either, but um, late into the the game well it happens at two different points at one point uh, one of the scientists gets some of the cells from one of the enemies that you fight and injects it into Godzilla making him stronger it makes his energy bar uh, fill up uh, a, a little bit further did, did either of you get that far the, the head of the three-headed yeah, monster that falls yes. off um, yes. I mean I saw that but I yeah. I quit after Mecha Godzilla. I'm just going to be honest with you. I I always yeah. I always like to know the story. So games that I feel like I can't get a full playthrough if they're short enough, I usually watch ahead. So I'm familiar with the whole story, even though I only got yeah. maybe a third of the way through. Well, I, later later in the game, um, more cells are injected into Godzilla's body, and he actually transforms into uh, you know a like super Godzilla, hence I guess the name of the game, and um, just becomes extremely incredible. His his graphics change and his abilities are are just upgraded. His powers, HP, everything, and. I, like okay so you're playing this now in 2016 whatever but imagine being a kid you know that already was intrigued with the Godzilla story being like just watching this transformation take place on the Super Nintendo and, and I, just being pumped up as he's gaining these new abilities and this new look I can't <laughs> can't imagine yourself being a kid or being excited about this game both <laughs> like I I can't imagine myself as a kid being excited about this game. Even yeah. if I like Godzilla, I don't know. Well, I, I, I can't imagine that because I was a kid over at my friend Chris's house and we, we played this game uh, that he had and I just have 
fond memories from that and being completely stoked when the transformation did take place. And I thought it was an incredible thing. But when I played it this time, didn't feel the same as I did back then. You, you didn't get a little quite Mega the... Man in there? Absorbing powers? Mega Man? Yeah, you know, you beat the boss, you get his, his power. Yeah, this game's a lot like Mega Man. Yeah, if you like Mega Man, I recommend this game. You will like <laughs> this game. <laughs> That's not true. You don't absorb his powers anyways. Science and he cells. Just said... No, he just takes cells. Trust me, it's really well written. Let's talk about how this game is aged. Aged. I think Super Godzilla has super aged. Hey, I agree. It sucks. <laughs> it's not like wine or cheese. It's aged like... I don't know, like fresh fruit. Like, this is not a better with time situation. Got you. Can I just say that in each of, in each of these segments, overview, gameplay, and age, Nolan has made sure to clarify that he thinks this game sucks. Although that's not, the, like, that's not what we're supposed no. to do in any uh-huh. of these sections. Yeah, we're talking about the game. We're, we're three old guys playing seven new games, and I'm talking <laughs> three, about it. I hate it. We're three old three guys, old guys playing. playing seven new games. <laughs> I like when Nolan's angry at games. All right, I'll tell you why. It, I'll tell you a real answer. It aged poorly. It aged poorly because it's not a fun game. Like I don't think it was fun in the first place. And so, like if you've if you have a game that's actually fun to play, so let's let's take one of our other games that we played, for example, uh, okay, Dragon Warrior. Fine, I'll pick that one. Even though it wasn't my favorite, but I can see where that game was really fun when it came out because there's a lot to do it was an rpg it was something really new it looked good um and then so that aged because just rpgs improved and so you feel the age of that one this one wasn't even a fun game in the first place it was just um a boring tile system or like movement system and then the battle system was the only appeal of it and you only got to do that what six times i don't know how many stages but uh now, this wasn't the worst game you've ever played, right? Like, in um, our retro list so far? You you may have to remind me. I know that Jurassic Park was Jurassic bad. Jurassic Park, yeah. You, you're not, it's not Jurassic Park level bad. It's not a coincidence that this also has to do with the dinosaur guy. So there should not be dinosaur games. <laughs> no dino games, guys. Take notes. I, I think that it aged... Game mechanics are are kind of are were I agree were kind of poor to begin with and so they didn't age well. The graphics are not the best, um, and then you know you can see that it's aged in just it's blatant racism. Uh, so there's an Asian <laughs> Wait, guy what? that is one of the scientists, and uh, they just have him skip some words and shorten some words, and so um, yeah, the the translation was terrible. It really was. Do you think they did that on purpose or no? I th- no. I think so. I didn't notice it actually. You Am think I so? No, they were like, they were misspelled words and then they hyphenated everything because that stupid little box was so little. It was always like, oh, yeah. we've powered up the energy of God. Zilla. Zilla, next page. <laughs> yeah. But listen, on the, on the white characters, they still... Sp- Spoke in kind of like uh, fluent, and but uh, oh, no, in, in the Asian character, there were words that were missed. That um, if if you're trying to make fun of a culture, you might you might do that. Come on, 1993. Come on, Japan. Oh no, we probably it was probably Americans <laughs> did that. that yeah did that. <laughs> Hate you, America. No. Uh, so that uh, on top of that, there's no instructions on how to fight. So if you didn't play Monster Rancher two. <laughs> then you're not no, gonna know how to play, how to battle, At all. because it's it's kind of a difficult system to to figure out on your own. Kenny, what do you think about how this game is aged? You th- you don't think it's aged one day, do you? No, like I'm Nolan's more passionately disliking this game, so I'll let him carry that torch. But I'm not far out of his camp. Like it was a, uh, it's pretty rough. Um, I do think that. If you're wanting a Godzilla style story, that is what Godzilla movies and lore are about. You know, big monsters fighting monsters and everything being destroyed and it having kind of that Japanese action feel. Um, this game sort of does some things to kind of like rep that from, no. you know, from how it's trying to do the graphics to whatever. I don't think it does a great job of it. I never felt immersed. I never felt impressed. 
but it like it at least tries to be a Godzilla game and it's not like everything else. So I can I can give them credit for trying, but then there were just so many things that were bad. Like combat wasn't fun and was difficult. Uh the storyline was just so unbelievable. Like taking control of a monster and then just like little things like you're supposed to be right the good guys controlling Godzilla. And so you walk into these cities that are inhabited by an alien controlling another monster terrorizing the city and there's tanks everywhere you would think the tanks yeah. would be attacking the enemy monster of course they would oh. you're the good it's guys like... they're attacking you it makes no sense yeah. and then you're like uh... even though again you're the you're controlled by scientists this isn't Godzilla going crazy this is the good guys in control of the monster yeah. you're okay if Tokyo makes it to 50% losses. What? And you're tearing down buildings <laughs> just to get to another monster like it's no it big just thing? Hit Dustin. Like, it just it's just it's so it just terrible. But I also just watched <laughs> Kenny go from like just chill trying to give like yeah. a balanced it opinion to too. becoming more passionate than you, Nolan. I, I know. know. No, for just, real. Was, that, that is terrible. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Kenny, because I was like, is this consistent with the movie? Because I haven't seen the old, old Godzillas that I'm sure this was based off of. Like, was this a team of scientists that were working secretly to use Godzilla and not tell the military about it? Or was were they just that poor? I don't, think, I don't it, think that's the storyline of original Godzilla. Was that the storyline of this game? A secret? Because I, I didn't... If it was, I didn't, didn't gather, gather that. that. Yeah. <sighs> It was confusing. Dustin, Dustin you want to change how you, uh, your answer about uh, how it aged? Well, I mean, he didn't love it either. Yeah, I didn't say it aged well. I, I know, said it I aged poorly, uh, including the racism. But like, I, I just, I, I, I start with Kenny, and that I f- and like I want to find some balance because I do think you know there's some appeal there, and uh, like I've got to say again, when I was a kid and I played this game, I enjoyed it, but. Playing it today, I, I didn't, and um, it did not age well. The final shell shock. We've got some feedback from some of our viewers that we can address now. Patrick wrote in. He said, "Weird fighting system takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you do, it's not as bizarre as it seems. It kind of works like a turn-based RPG battle system with some action thrown in. You have to give this game credit." It took guts to do something this weird. First time players might be freaked out by this, but I actually kind of liked this RPG system. I will give them credit for trying to do something unique. But it's aliens. And you find that out early. Like, Oh, you, the plot's ridiculous, but that doesn't make the battle system inherently bad. The, the three head... Well, no, I already know that's bad. The three-headed monster you first fight... <laughs> The the alien a UFO comes and picks him up when you when you beat him and they're like we're gonna get you on the next one, that's the story, aliens uh-huh. and Godzilla. Uh, Patrick, thanks for writing in. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but we disagree with you, bro. No, uh, Holden also uh, sent some messages. He said I got to level three three different times and I still cannot beat the boss. Super Godzilla is hard. I cannot wait for the next game. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is harder than it looks for how like basic the premise is. Yeah, it seems really easy. Like just grid based. I, I think I think the, the third boss is that three headed one. Well it's the it's one head and it's got the two kind of snake arms that you have to take out before you fight. Biolante. Uh, the, yeah, the Biolante yeah. or whatever it is. S- super high defense, so it takes a long time. Um, actually, one of the things that I could throw out here, if you're going to go back and play this, don't, is that you can um, actually retreat from battles. You can go to an energy refill station and you can come back to the battle, and I believe that the enemy is at the same health that you really? left him at. Hey, hang on a sec. I'm going to go get stronger so I can beat you. Yeah, hold on right here, uh, enemy monster terrorizing the town. I'm going to go fight through my own military's tanks to be able to get some energy refill. I'm uh-huh. going to knock down, knock down some major buildings, probably kill a thousand people, and then I'll come back and destroy you. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. No one else wrote in? Nope. Where's Antonin? Antonin. He was smart enough to not play this one. He, know, he knows. He's been writing code and creating things oh, okay. and taking over the world. He's busy. We miss you. 
Also, Bill. Man, I haven't heard from you in a while. Bill. Are you still out there, Bill? Guess not. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, are you there? Uh, all right. Nolan. What? New Game Plus status. Yes or no? Kenny, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> no. I'll get okay. No, I don't give this new game plus. Don't play it. Okay, even for people that love dinosaurs. If you love dinosaurs, if you love love Godzilla, don't play this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe if you, I don't know. I can't think of a scenario. I, it was going to involve time machines and like being Japanese and playing yeah, that version like that. and yeah, yeah, caring yeah, yeah. about Godzilla and going right. back and like playing it originally and not now and even then yeah. it didn't work in my mind. Yeah, I wouldn't say all that if I were you. Okay. I'll just say no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, would I give it new game plus status, meaning would I say hey, let viewers go play this game, it would be well worth it, uh, you would enjoy it um, my answer to that would be absolutely not. Why? There's really no reason for you to go and pick up a copy. Like some people, okay, I really do think that there will be some people that would enjoy this game, but I think there would be a lot more that wouldn't, so let, don't risk it. Don't <laughs> risk walking into this thinking you're going to enjoy it because you most likely will not. That's I fair. would rather play Jurassic Park than this game. I've been thinking about it. Me too. Wow. No, I can't go that far. Jurassic Park was worse. But this is up this is up there for one of the worst games we've played in my mind easily. Let's put the final nail in the coffin that is Super Godzilla. This game reminded me that I don't have a dog and how sad that makes me. What? This game brought out all the depressing things in my life. Oh gosh. Oh. Well, that's fair. No, is it? No. But I'll I'll let him go with it. It's that time of the episode where we roll roll for a new game. We have a retro master list that is found online and our viewers contribute to that regularly. This last week we had some tweets come in suggesting new games to add to the list. And at the end of each episode, we randomly select from that master list a new old game to play for the next seven days and that time is here that time is now it is time for us to embark on the journey that is yo noid huh. i've been wondering what this is yeah me too. Sounds it sounds clueless. cool clueless have, me too i have no idea so it's a 1990 game for the nintendo entertainment system and it is yo exclamation point, and then the second word is noid n o i d. So find that game. I don't know how. Are there, are there dinosaurs? Oh gosh. I hope not. Find yo noid. Get a copy of it. Do what you have to do. Pull out your Nintendo system and play along with us over the following week. And then send us in your commentary over the game, good or bad. We'd love to hear. Like, what would have made this episode better is if eight of you would have messaged in how much you either loved or hated <laughs> Super Godzilla. How much you liked it so that no one could make fun of you. No. I, I'm I'm prone to think that Kenny would have gotten a lot more angry at this point. You started like chill and normal, and by the end of it, you were out of breath know, cause and angry. Because we, we kept talking about this game, and it just kept reminding me. Yo, know it looks awesome. So anyone out there, play it. Yeah, I've seen nothing about it, so definitely grab it, play it. We want to always express our appreciation for you guys listening to this podcast uh, we understand sometimes it's easy and fun and light and we're talking about a great game yeah this is awesome and then sometimes is like today but you know we got to do this together we can't leave one another out dying in the middle of the battlefield we've got to pick one another up walk with each other through even the difficult times and super godzilla was one of those difficult times but we made it and we'll keep going i guess I, I guess. Unless oh. Yonoid has dinosaurs and then we're done. And then, oh, and then podcast over. 
If you enjoyed this whatsoever, then please subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, whatever you listen to us on. And uh, if, if you rate and review us, that would help as well. Uh, that helps visibility and helps people be able to find us and locate us. And then when they do see us with a high rating, then they'll be you know more excited about listening to what we have to offer. Uh, please do connect with us throughout the week. That is always what we look forward to most whenever we get a tweet or an email or you know you show up knocking on our front door you know any of those ways of you reaching out to us is always exciting for us if you're in the u.s please vote vote (laughs) i'm still dustin Uh, i'm still kenny i'm not nolan anymore and this has or has not been new Game game plus